News tonight, the viral World War One ship that was found in the Natchez River back in August has caught the attention of a Canadian film crew. For the next few days, they'll be in town learning about that ship and taking in some good old Southeast Texas hospitality. 12 News reporter Gloria Walker first brought us this story last year, and today she got a sneak peek at the production. A Canadian film crew traveled over 1,500 miles from Winnipeg, Canada to Silsby, Texas to see what's lying at the bottom of the Natchez River. Behind the doors of the Ice House Museum, a different type of work is happening. Right now, crews are setting up cameras for a show that stars two fishermen from Canada, Justin Gerbrandt and Mike Linton. They decided to kind of test our knowledge of history, which was lacking big time. So we started off traveling across Canada and then now down into the States, and this is our last kind of run at it. Now we're in Texas. and They use magnet fishing as a way to explore hidden treasures throughout North America. Their latest stop, here in Silsby. Catching metal artifacts, or um, we're actually trying to fish for, for history. Like Neither one of us ever thought that we'd be doing a show A on fishing, B on artifacts and history. It, after last summer's drought revealed remnants of a World War I ship, the pair and their producer decided to take the journey to see what they could learn. The true treasures that we're finding are stories that have been lost. That's producer and director of the series, Scott Leary. And when we read about these, these boats that were found in the rivers, we were like, this is a perfect thing. Now they're wooden boats, so we know we're not going to hit them with the magnets anyways. But it's a great way to showcase these this story. His crew's interest in the worldwide attention has surprised museum director Susan Kilcrease. Because one of the things that's amazed me is how how fascinating this has been to not just us but to the whole world. The show is set to release in Canada first but the crew hopes to have an international release in January. In Silsby, Glory Walker, 12 News.